we're looking at the wind fantasy movement at rehearsal age, flutter tonguing. It's interesting to me that musicians believe that this technique can be done or it just can't. Meanwhile, linguists insist that this technique could be learnable by anyone. And I think the key difference in opinions is that musicians make out a list of things to do to flutter tongue, while linguists insist that this is a passive action. A musician might describe the flutter tongue as a rolled R. However, the technique really does not have the tongue shape of an R. The R shape is pulled backwards into an arch in the back of the throat with the tongue tip down behind the teeth. Linguists insist that the tongue shape is closer to a ch, like in the word cheese. Here, the tongue is flat and the tip of the tongue is closer to between the teeth. With this ch shape, we can get a better, thinner, faster stream of air over the tongue to wag the tip of the tongue between the teeth like a flag. At no point are we really doing anything with the tongue in this technique. Meanwhile, it's a technique that comes from air support and a relaxed muscle behind the teeth. So we get that good sort of sound. On your instrument, it will sound like this.